Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790 AM. Brought to you proudly by the Tennessee Wildlife and Resources Agency. Hey, welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray. We talk outdoors every Saturday morning on AF 790 in Memphis right here. Uh, from uh, 9 to 1030. You folks in Jackson from 630 to 8. You folks in Brownsville from 6 to 730. Don't ask me how we do it, but there's a trick. And... As I said earlier, um, my wife and myself are dealing with COVID, so if I start coughing, Frank Martin and David Beal are in there with Shelby to take me uh, under their wings and get me through this. Uh, I don't know, but I'm really excited uh, to have a chance to talk to this uh, next young lady that I had a chance to sit with with her boss at the uh, Tennessee Wildlife Resources Commission meeting uh, uh, last Friday. Uh, Mike Butler. I said, "Well, I got uh, I got Ashley Tone on with me." He said, "Do you know all about her?" I said, "No." I said, "I don't." She, he said, "She's good." So Ashley, you're on the spot, okay? I mean, <laughs> Mike has put you out there, but you are uh, undoubtedly. Uh, this is pretty uh, pretty uh, a passion of yours as the Tennessee Scholastic Clay Target Program. As we know it, is the SCTP is the manager for the Tennessee Wildlife Federation. So, talk about how this became part of your life, because I, I, I mentioned off the air that she's uh, she had a different career at one time, and uh, and she made some division, decisions, uh, changed her career, and this has become pretty close to her. So, talk tell us about your love of, of shotgunning. Yeah, so this is something that has been a part of my life since I was in high school, and it's always been really near and dear to my heart um, because I was a product of this program that I'm now running. Uh, my high That's school great. had a shooting team, and I figured, why not try it? I grew up on a farm around hunting my entire life, and it was the first sport that I could ever participate in with my brother that was six years younger than me. So I fell in love with it. It paid for my college. I competed on the collegiate level. And like you mentioned, I was on a completely different career path working in higher education and had this amazing opportunity to give back to the program that provided me with so much opportunity and changed the trajectory of my life. And it's been such an amazing experience to introduce the next generation of young Tennesseans to shooting sports and an outdoor lifestyle. And is that, this is a sport that's exploding, isn't it, Ashley? I mean, it uh, is. It's one of the fastest wow, growing sense. sports in the entire country, but we've got 83 teams across the state, and it's just growing more and more each year. 83, and you're getting ready to have the big Tennessee uh, – it's uh, CTP uh, statewide free recruiting day on November yeah. 11th. Is that right? So, uh, that is correct. What, so what's that we've got about? we've got all of these teams who are excited to welcome new team members, and you know, not everyone had the opportunity to grow up around this type of sport. So the best way to learn it is to be connected with someone who's experienced and knows how to practice safe firearm handling and bus clay targets. So we've got 15 sites across the state where our trained coaches are going to be there to help new people try shooting sports for the first time ever, or if you've done it before and just want to do it again, you're welcome as well, and learn how to join a team in your area. So kids as young as age nine all the way up to seniors in high school can participate completely free. And this is, uh, I think there are uh, several in, in West Tennessee, uh, Memphis, uh, uh, Brownsville, Moscow, Middleton, Huntington, and Brighton. And yes. uh, it is it is a sport open to, to uh, youth, uh, certain ages, uh, up to college. And you guys have uh, opened doors for kids that never thought they'd be able to compete in a team sport. And you said 83 teams. What does that mean number-wise for students involved in the program in Tennessee? Right now we have over 1,600 kids across the state, um, and this is just in the state of Tennessee. There are 
Scholastic Clay Target Program teams in almost every single state in the country, and our athletes travel all across and compete on a nationwide scale as well, and they do pretty well at it, too. They brought home a lot of hardware from the national championships this year, but we have a lot of teams all across the state and adding more each year. We got some good ones in West Tennessee, I know, because I've had them on the show uh, (laughs) many times. And, again, we're talking to Ashley Tone. She's the manager for the Tennessee Scholastic Clay Target Program, Tennessee Wildlife Federation. And I know uh, we didn't have this when I was growing up. I don't know, Frank, at at the Webb School, did y'all have shotgun classes, Frank? We did not. (laughs) You should have, yeah. You'd have been there, wouldn't you? I would have been first in line. I know you would have. Yeah, uh, at Bell Buckle over there. Uh, but it, it it's an option. Uh, and I guess you got some great stories, Ashley. I know uh, I looked here, and, and you're from uh, not a very big town. I was looking, I was trying to find out where exactly. Uh, Millen, is that right? Milton, Milton, yes. Milton, Tennessee. So where is Milton, Tennessee? It's got to be in the middle of the state. Yes, it's a really tiny town where there's more cows than people right on the border of Rutherford, Wilson, and Cannon County. So I would say the closest big city to us is Murfreesboro, where Middle Tennessee State University is. But there wasn't a whole lot to do growing up out there except for spend time outdoors. So this was a very natural activity for me to become a part of. Well, I, I know it's uh, uh, it's so welcome to see. Uh, what, what do kids learn through this shooting sport, do you think, I, Ashley? Yeah, I mean, first and foremost, of course, they learn how to properly handle a firearm. Uh, but on top of that, this program teaches them responsibility, leadership, communication skills, response lots of responsibility because i mean you've got nine-year-olds toting shotguns around and some of those aren't very cheap and you know you got to be very careful but it it teaches a lot and it's very unique program that you don't have to be a certain build or have any type of athletic ability to be a part of this team so it really teaches that teamwork even if you're not a football player or a basketball player there's room for everyone in this sport. I see where you went to Lindenwood University. Know I did. That is, and your team won the national championship. Do you still compete? Or are you mostly just a? Uh, you got a full time job there. I know. Do you get, do you <laughs> I, I definitely it? don't as much as I would like to. But uh, yeah, I still love going out to the range with my friends and shooting with my family members, and I hope now that I'm back in the world of shooting sports to get back into the competitive side because I I absolutely love being at the shooting range. There's no place that makes me happier. Yeah, we had uh, Robin, uh, golly, it was Robin, so I can't remember. You got COVID, you don't know what anything, but uh, from Henderson, uh, the gun club Mm -hmm. to Henderson, uh, uh, Robin, uh, anyway, you probably know him. We had him on a couple of weeks ago talking about the, the boom in the sports uh, himself. That uh, how old are your boys? I don't have any kids. Um, there, it's just uh, me, and oh, I have dogs. Boy. But yeah, I enjoy oh, going yeah. out with. Yes, when I went now, I, I, I saw that. Let me get that <laughs> back in here. You have dogs and cats, I, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm looking for that because I saw that and I said, well, I mean, she competed at uh, Middle Tennessee Christian School, which I've heard of before. And like I said, Lindenwood uh, University. And then you've come to this and the way this sport has gone, uh, isn't Tennessee one of the tops in the nation for its participation in, uh, in hardware one? Yeah, we were the third largest state in attendance this year at the national uh, championship, and there was only one other state that brought home more awards than us. So we're definitely known in the shooting sports community. A lot of our kids, um, our athletes, are getting recruited to shoot um, in college on scholarship, much like myself. Um, The Tennessee. 
there are scholarships. There are a couple of teams out there, but there are uh, the larger club. universities have club sports as well. So sports, even yeah, if yeah. your school doesn't offer scholarships, we, there's opportunities to create a club. Um, all of the University of Tennessee schools have a, some sort of team or organization. The UT Martin and UT Southern have teams. And then the UT Knoxville campus has a club that anyone can join if they want to get into this. What does this have a chance to lead to to more licensed buyers? Things along that line. You got you got kids that uh, maybe never thought about getting into hunting or whatever it might be, and now you yeah. get a chance to do something that uh, they could be future license holders, right? Absolutely. Uh, every single one of our participants has to go through a hunter education class before they ever step foot on a range. So. You've already got your basics ready to go where you can go hunting. So this is a really great entry pathway for someone who may not have grown up in a household where hunting was a common practice. And we have other programs as well that we help guide our athletes to, like our Hunting and Fishing Academy, uh, where we have events for kids and their families to learn how to do, um, to go hunting and fishing. But, you know, yeah, there's, these kids and their families are buying thousands of rounds of ammunition a year, uh, sometimes yeah. more if they're really competitive. So naturally, it's a really easy thing to get into hunting from this. And we've got kids that this is what they're wanting to do the rest of their life. And they're wanting to you know, just go be outdoors and try other shooting sports get into rifle, pistol, archery, all of that because of this program. Uh, hey, Ashley, this is Frank in the studio. We've only got about a minute left, but if, if somebody wants to find out more information about this, how's the best way to get in touch with you? Yes, absolutely. So our website is tnsctp.org, but for our recruiting day, you can visit that same website or tnwf.org slash explore for a list of all of our locations and sign up for all of the locations. Well, Becky, uh, uh, Ashley, we sure appreciate you uh, uh, visiting with us. Uh, thank you for taking time on this Saturday morning. And, uh, we'll stay in touch and tell everybody hello at the Federation for me, okay? Awesome. I appreciate it, Larry. All right. Let's take a break. We're outdoors with Larry Ray. We, we will be right back. 